Morning guys, just um, got up about an hour ago, it's about, feels about 10 to 12 degrees, having my morning coffee uh, from Kenya and I thought I should probably do a full backyard update, full garden update, so yeah, um, hang in there, enjoy, welcome back and welcome to those who are new to the channel and we'll go and have a look all right so starting with the tropicals today um i haven't shown many of these for a while now i've been concentrating a lot more what's going on in the greenhouse but these guys out here are still uh struggling and still striving and are still um pushing through so starting with the first one uh the, the paxton prolific custard apple I've honestly never seen it do this well, so it's only been here for two years in the ground um, and the first year that I planted it in the ground, about this time it lost all its leaves. So pretty excited about it now, um, if you have a look all this new growth that's coming out here, it's really really nice, so it doesn't look like any signs of slowing down, or maybe slowing down but dying or, or becoming deciduous which is pretty cool again we are still in june uh, you know a couple more weeks will be in july so yeah packs and prolific um easily 10 out of 10 hasn't grown much um in terms of height wise still same height uh but in terms of becoming deciduous not nothing at all so beautiful there all right Moving on, uh, the Fuerte, wish I could say the same, um, now even though it's not looking like it's doing really bad, it's still doing pretty well, the leaves are still really green, there's still a lot of new growth coming out, as you can see there, and I've added more, I keep adding more mulch to it, um, sorry excuse Mushu, we call him Mushu, the rooster out the back, he doesn't, I haven't filmed for a while so I'm too sure if he knows what's going on wondering why I'm just talking randomly but anyways it's another story um, yeah so still doing well but I what happened was we went camping and that was uh, what was that in April March April during the Easter break and I didn't water it before I left so that was when we had that last uh, heat wave come through and it didn't affect the bottom which is great at the top almost killed all of it so I mean this is the thing right you gotta gotta be on top of it or, or this happens you know now in saying that there is a bit of new growth there which may pop out in spring anyway but it's not focusing Let's see if I can zoom in there no it's not gonna focus um, yeah, there is new growth there, but there's there's also a lot of dead bark going on here. So, I mean, I might cut that down, cut that off, see how we go. But we'll just keep an eye on it because the rest of the tree is still doing really well. It's still really green. Um, and I can't really complain. So, yeah, the Fuerte, doing pretty well, pretty happy. Probably give that one a 7 out of 10. No significant change. Um, a little bit of a few steps back, but same time still doing still doing fairly well. Alright, um, the, the banana, which was the ladyfinger banana. So that day that we had that um, cyclone-like weather hit us, um, pretty much battered a lot of the leaves but I'm not too worried about that I've grown bananas before um, in a previous where I previously used to live and they kind of look this shabby during winter anyway so I mean these guys the bottom the bottom ones aren't doing too bad they're still doing pretty nicely but it's expected there's no heat these guys aren't gonna grow so I mean yeah 
still doing doing fairly well. The chunk on that's pretty big. I probably need to add more mulch onto that. If you want to have a look, there's Mr. Mushu. The rooster with his hands. The guy that makes all the noise. Um, yeah, so no, the bananas are doing really well. Um, this one's doing fairly well. Moving along to this one here. Not doing it as well. Um, same time, I'll give that a till summer and as you all probably already know, those who plant tropical plants and trees, bananas are pretty hardy, so this guy is expected to come back. Alright, moving on. Alright, moving on to here. So, a few things in this area. First, just your bamboo, um, black bamboo. So, these were planted off, sort of, I got them removed from, from a local uh, who was getting rid of them. So I just planted these here and thought I, you know, give them a shot and voila, these guys are doing pretty well. So they'll be kept under control, obviously, because just behind this is part of the chicken run. So yeah, I'm not too fussed about this bamboo. That, it can spread if it wants to. I don't think it's a spreading one, but beautiful black glossy um, clumps. I think they're called clumps or... Yeah, bamboo stalks, <laughs> whatever you call them. So they start off green and then they go sort of a dark black. So reminiscent of um, the Timor black, I'm pretty sure these are. If they're a clumping type, which they look like they may be. Doesn't look like they're running anywhere, so yeah. And um, just behind that, being protected by the bamboo, is our coffee tree. So this one's doing surprisingly well too um, for June. Um, obviously, it's been protected by the uh, by the bamboo, by my neighbour's gum trees, eucalyptus trees there. Um, but I mean, I always thought this guy was going to die the first few weeks into June. Uh, not die, but at least lose all its leaves. But nope, still a lot of new growth coming in through there. You can see, and up here as well which is really nice and over here too so coffee 9 to 10 out of 10 I reckon considering it is a well known tropical plant <coughs> excuse me um, <clears throat> thinking of getting one more I know these guys push up a lot but I reckon one more over here will be nice they've been protected by more bananas, so banana, be banana over here, and all along here. So all these bananas, they're all doing pretty well. I mean, you can go into detail of them all, but it's just going to take too much time. That's a blue Java, which is doing great. Again, middle of winter, this hasn't shown any, or well, shown a little bit of signs of damage, but look at that. That's just, that's so green new growth it's a bit surprising considering the rest of them showing your, your normal signs of yellow this banana here um, not too sure what it is picked it up at the Dandenong market for those of you who know southeastern suburbs of Melbourne it's got this beautiful red vein going through it which is pretty unique you know? so pretty happy with that and and it's shot out one of these guys a little baby so means I must be doing something right with it um, but yeah right next to it you got your passion fruit which I've reluctantly placed outside um, it was in the greenhouse and it was going crazy it was growing really crazy so I just thought you know what doesn't matter I know it's winter probably not the best time to plant it but hey Guess what? It's growing. So, why not, right? Why not give it a shot? And then, as you can probably already see, just to the left of it, you've got your sugarcane, purple sugarcane, um, which are meant to be frost hardy anyway. So, yeah, not too fussed about those. Still, still doing pretty well. On the right of it, 
Got another purple sugar cane. I bought two of those, which is great. Some more bananas. Moving on, you got just your normal green sugar cane. Which is starting to send out a little sucker there, which is cool. Um, another banana just popped out of the ground there. Don't know how, where. Could be related to this one. Maybe, maybe not. Just sort of going to let it grow into a little jungle type area so all the leaves that are going here eventually this all these bananas the plan is that they will grow all over so as a top canopy next to those next to the sugar canes and um yeah it'd be a pretty cool little little area there little jungle area so tropical area and then a new one that i got as well um i just picked this one up um Surely m most of you recognize the leaves on that. If you don't, um, it is the Hass. So my first Hass avocado. Um, pretty decent size to be honest with you. And heaps of awesome new growth up the top there. Very nice tree, like very nice. So I may repot this into a larger pot, but the plan is to keep this in a pot for at least a year. Um, instead of throwing it in the ground um, it's doing incredibly well so don't really want that one to go this, down the same way as the Fuerte um, that I've got but at the same time I'm not going to say that the Fuerte is a complete failure because it's not um, just got to wait for spring to come around but yeah um, this guy was purchased from a I got a local nursery um, a, a home nursery she runs if any, if you, any of you guys live in the southeastern suburbs and, and you're keen to know, she does do a lot of um, tropical plants and tropical trees. Um, she's uh, actually from Vietnam and, and her husband's from Cambodia. So, as you can imagine, um, their experience in these sort of um, these sort of trees are a, a little bit more knowledgeable than you know what we would expect here. So, but anyways, that's that's a whole different topic. Uh, moving on, um, we'll go and have a look at some of the citrus trees and then we'll go into the greenhouse. Alright, starting with the Lisbon lemon. Um, we pulled off two of the lemons already. They were doing fairly well. I mean, no brainer here in Melbourne. If you haven't got a citrus tree in Melbourne, something's wrong with you. If you haven't got a citrus tree and you enjoy planting or you have a green thumb, something's wrong with you. Um, again, heaps of growth added onto it. I'm not going to go too much into it. You all know how citrus grows here, but anyways. Okay, these two are having a stare down. Moving on, I'll show you the orange tree and the grapefruit. Grapefruit flowering like crazy. Um, again, not going to go too much into it. You guys know how citrus are here, so pretty straightforward. Hey, mate, go on, go over there, go away. I'm trying to film, um, doing pretty well. So, yeah. Right next to it, you've got your pomegranate, which is also doing really well. Not much to to report on that though. All right. And you've got your orange tree, so your navel orange, um, which is also doing really well. Again, nothing, nothing to complain. So all the citruses easily, rate them 10 out of 10. You can't go wrong with citrus in Melbourne. Um, if you're a fruit tree enthusiast, a green thumb, not sure where to start. Start with citrus. Um, you only go into tropicals, go to bananas, and then just make your way up from there. All right, um, catch you at the greenhouse. All right, entrance to the greenhouse. A few elephant ears. Probably spot the taro at the back there, which is doing really well. It's protected, so got two there. You can only see one, but moving across. Monstera deliciosa or fruit salad plant. 
and your ferns. Alright, so there's a bit of damage that was done during, again, during that cyclone, cyclonic weather. Um, I lost a lot of my chili seedlings. Um, they all got pushed over in this greenhouse. I came out and sort of, I have a few tent, uh, I've got a tent and you can hold it down with some of those, um, I don't know what you call them, those little T hooks. So I came out and hit them into the ground. So the greenhouse didn't move at all, um, but obviously being plastic, the size of it was, was being battered. So a lot of the things fell down um, and involved me doing a full clean up of it. So taking everything out and, and sort of just uh, relocating everything and, and just cleaning it up. So. We'll go and have a look. All right, so as you can see here, these chilies pretty much almost, almost gone. There's a few that are left, so I'll take care of those ones. Uh, these ones are doing all right still, which is great. All be planted in spring. And then what is the current temperature in the greenhouse? It is. Probably same temperatures outside because there's no sun. Let me just put that down. Look. Yeah, about 14 degrees Celsius. So, having a look around, just a rough look. I won't go into too much detail. I've done a few greenhouse updates for you guys. So, um, only thing that's probably not doing the best um, is the coconut, which was expected. However, I'm a bit. Um, Ah, uh, how would I say it? Uh, I'm a bit thing about the coconut itself. Reason being is I got it when it was yellow like this. I'm not too sure if it has anything to do with the way it was sent or not. Contemplating getting another one. Um, maybe in summer, obviously, but yeah. Because everything else is doing pretty well. Literally everything else is doing well. Nothing's dead yet. Even the Balimbi, which is... If you can see it in the middle there, yeah, it's lost all its leaves. Yeah, it's showing a bit of browning. But when you scrape the actual base of it, the trunk, the bottom part of the trunk, it's still alive. So, I mean, not only that, even the papayas, like, <laughs> come on. Papayas are, most of you know, are the big, one of the biggest sooks there are out there. So, I mean, if a papaya can make it through... I'm sure as hell, or if a mango can make it through, I'm sure as hell, you shouldn't have too much trouble with you know, with a um, coconut. But, you know, being in the greenhouse and whatnot. But, I don't know, so keep an eye on it. The papayas are doing well. The longan is, is growing crazy. Heaps of new growth on that, which is so cool. Lychee, phenomenal. Can't complain. A bit of browning, which is expected in winter can't have no branding at all during our winters for obvious reasons um, star fruit at the back there no complaints the mango is starting to come back which is awesome as you can see at the top there no complaints literally nothing inside this greenhouse um, is going through as much suffering and pain and depression and tears like this coconut is so um, I don't know I'm just gonna wait and see what happens I'm not gonna cut off any of the leaves yet we're just we're just gonna have to wait um, and see what happens everything else is doing great papaya leaves are massive so these are all gonna be moved out in spring so be planted in ground but yeah that's just a rough quick pan through of how everything's going um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. A quick, um, quick backyard update during the mid, mid winter, I guess we can say almost. What are we in June? Yeah, our oh, start of winter. Um, everything looks to be okay. I might have to give these a bit of a water, but yeah, let me know what your thoughts are and and um, comment below. Don't forget to like um, and obviously share and subscribe so we can um, we can share with the community in Melbourne, especially in Melbourne and. Some of the more temperate climates on how everything's actually uh on how oh well, on how they actually grow their tropicals in in a temperate climate so anyways guys i'll uh my next video will probably be in july mid-july so catch you from then bye